I am Dr. Shirjil and you are watching my YouTube channel and today we are starting a very important topic the topography so let's come to the first video of corneal topography I am drawing cornea the anterior surface of the cornea and the posterior surface of the cornea and in between the corneal stroma so in this video we will discuss the difference between topography and tomography and placido disc in detail now what is corneal topography in simple words uh, it is the study of the shape of the anterior surface of the cornea or it is an imaging technique for mapping the anterior surface of the cornea whereas corneal Tomography assess examine the entire cornea anterior as well as posterior surface So that's the difference between tomography and topography uh, The first instrument that was invented to study the cornea was placido disc and That was based on the principle of first Purkinje image and studied the most powerful anterior surface of the cornea corneal anterior surface acts as a convex, convex mirror so corneal topography is based on the principle of placido disc placido disc consists of equally spaced alternating black and white lines with a handle and central slit through which observer sees the image produced by the corneal reflection as the image from the placido disc is projected on the cornea, some of the light is reflected off the cornea like a mirror. That reflected image reveals the shape of the anterior surface of the cornea. Normally, you can see normal spaced corneal rings that will show normal cornea if the mires or rings they are widely spaced then it indicates flat cornea and closely spaced rings shows a steeper cornea now shape of the cornea corneal mires or rings very important as we already discussed closely spaced rings with smaller image shows strong cornea and myopia whereas large image with widely spaced mires shows weak cornea and hyperopia but sometimes rings, rings are not spherically enlarged or uh, compressed they are oval that shows astigmatism if the long vertical axis image is formed it shows rings are widely spaced at vertical meridian and more compact at horizontal meridian that means steeper horizontal meridian or against the rule astigmatism long long horizontal axis means widely spaced horizontal meridian mires and narrow spaced vertical meridian mires so that's the with the rule astigmatism so we can diagnose uh, so far with placido disc placido disc is also known as keratoscope myopia hyperopia emetropia with the rule and against the rule astigmatism there is also a handheld keratoscope as well it is shown here and it is uh, placed against the patient cornea on a slit lamp and study myers so then it can have we then we can have a distorted or wavy ring image or inferior steepening which is diagnostic of irregular astigmatism of keratoconus or corneal traumatic scar or heel keratitis scar now look at these images a shows normal space rings normal cornea b shows inferior rings are getting irregular that can occur in dry eye so you also think about dry eye you may misdiagnose a dry eye as keratoconus now c shows against the rule astigmatism d shows irregular astigmatism could be keratoconus 
So at the end we are showing you how keratoconus looks. Now placebo discs have disadvantages as well. Small degrees of abnormalities of the corneal shapes are not identifiable. Astigmatism up to 3 diopter which is significant can be missed and is not used in corneas with epithelial defects. Thank you very much.